ever faced a situation where your defibrillator won't power on or perhaps you've experienced issues with noisy or distorted ECG signals. Such dilemmas can be daunting, especially when you're in a high stakes environment where every second counts. Fear not, for this video aims to guide you through various troubleshooting steps to ensure your defibrillator is functioning correctly. When your machine won't power on, start by inspecting the power source. Whether it's an electrical outlet or a battery, ensure it's functional. The battery should be properly connected and charged. If not, take the necessary steps to charge it or replace it. The power cable too requires a thorough check for any physical damage or loose connections. Now on to the noisy or distorted ECG signal. This graphical representation of the heart's electrical activity is crucial. So make sure the electrode pads are securely attached to the patient's skin without air gaps or wrinkles. Keep an eye out for interference from other electronic devices and always remember to check the electrode pads for any damage or expiration. Inaccurate readings or alarms can lead to incorrect diagnosis and treatment. Therefore, always ensure the patient's skin is clean and dry before attaching the electrode pads. The positioning of these pads is equally important, so adhere to the manufacturer's guidelines. Cables, connectors and the defibrillator mode should all be inspected and set correctly. Battery issues are common but easily rectified. If the battery isn't holding a charge, replace it. Keep track of the expiration date and store the battery within the recommended temperature range. Software or user interface problems can be a bit trickier. Look out for error messages on the screen and consult the user manual for guidance. Regular software updates, if available, are essential to keep the device up to date and functioning correctly. Intermittent shock delivery can be dangerous. Inspect the electrode pads, cables and ensure the defibrillator's paddles or pads are correctly applied to the patient's chest. The defibrillator should always be fully charged or have a fresh battery to ensure consistent shock delivery. Regular maintenance is vital for the defibrillator's long-term functionality. Clean and disinfect the machine and its accessories regularly and perform routine self-tests or diagnostic checks as specified by the manufacturer. Calibration issues may affect the accuracy of the measurements and shocks. If you suspect a calibration issue, it's best to contact the manufacturer or a qualified service technician for recalibration. Lastly, always pay close attention to alarms and alerts. These notifications are there to guide you and help you address any underlying issues. Remember, troubleshooting a defibrillator is a systematic process. Patience and attentiveness can go a long way in ensuring the device works correctly when needed the most. Always consult your user manual or contact a professional for further assistance if needed.